What's up guys? So if this is your first time watching one of these Dugster Bob complete bike tournaments, I want you to pause it right now and go watch the rules video where I describe exactly everything, how I came up with these scores, how everything's determined, the question, blah, 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 blah. Um, the link is in the description. Go check that out before you watch this so that everything makes a lot more sense. Now, if you know exactly what's going on, let's just get right into it. Today, we're gonna to be putting the Sabrosa Malum up against the Sabrosa Letum. Both of these bikes are Sabrosa's five to $600 bikes. One, one is a very street focused bike. The other one has more of just a general geometry, but it turns out to be really good for dirt. We'll talk about it all. We'll talk about the Dugster Bob scores. We'll talk about how I came up with them and which bike I would choose if I only had $600 to spend on a bike. Before I get too in depth in the video, I want you to go to the comments, leave a comment and tell me which bike you think is gonna move on to the next round. If you're correct, you're gonna be a winner with the winning bike. If you're wrong, you're gonna be a loser. Go to the trash with the other bike. So, the Sabrosa Malum is a $540 bike, while the Sabrosa Letum is $10 cheaper. It's about $530. The Letum got a very high Dugster Bob score of 123, and the Malum got a 109. But as you guys know, the bike that I choose at the end, does it could have a low Dugster Bob score. I wanna find the best value for your buck, and uh, and yeah, so let's, let's get real in depth. Let's talk about some important specs about each of these bikes. We'll start with the Letum. The Letum weighs 29.1 pounds. It has a free coaster. It's full Kermali. It has double wall rims and it has four pegs and four hub guards. It's a street beast, obviously. Like you can already see the street score. This is one of the best bikes for street. It's on my free bike recommendations uh, for anyone who's a street rider within this budget. It's, it's a very good option. Sabrosa did very good and I'm super hyped about it. Now the Malum, is 26.3 pounds, it's significantly lighter, full Kermali, double wall rims, no pegs, that's about it. Aside from the geometry, like a 21 inch top tube with 13.2, 13.2 inch chainstay. So it's, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot flowier of a frame. This one's a little more technical and obviously better for street riding. So now let's just take a deep dive into the scores. First, we're gonna talk about the look score. This is how the bike is visually, like how the bike looks, you know, is this bike visually appealing? Um, can you customize everything on it and does it come in different variations? I think it's really important for bikes to come in different variations so that you can choose the color that really resonates with you. The Letum comes in two different colors and the Malum both come in two different colors. The reason for the difference is that I really like the way the Malum looks over the Letum. I think the white pegs on one of the colors is a little tacky and that's just personal preference guys. So if you disagree, roast me in the comments, but they're very similar, but the Letum does look a little better. Now the street section, we're gonna talk about, does this bike have a free coaster, pegs? Is the quality good enough to withstand drops, big gaps, things like that? So the Letum obviously has that free coaster. That's a lot of bonus points. It has four pegs, it has hub guards. Guys, I really wanna stress if you've never bought pegs or hub guards, it's like each one costs around $20. So four pegs, four hub guards, that's like $160 that you're saving that they're including in this bike. Whereas the Malum does not come with any of that. So if you get it and you start to think about, well, maybe I wanna be a street rider you're gonna to have to drop that money to get those pegs and get those hub guards. And it's expensive, like I said. So for good reason, the Letum got a 37 and the Malum only got a 12. Now, what about the park section? The park section, the Letum still beat the Malum. And the reason for that is the Letum has a little bit more of a responsive geometry. When I review park bikes, what we're looking for is we're looking for a responsive bike. We're looking for gyros and we're looking for something with tires that can really 
hold speed in the park. And the responsive thing is something that's weighed really heavily because if you guys look at any of the complete bikes that are park specific, like the Fit Park XS or the We The People Versus, they're super compact, they're super responsive because that's how park riders are. Uh, for the most part, those technical park riders need short snappy geometry to throw those tricks around. And the Letum has that short snappy geometry while the Malum does not, the Malum's big and flowy. But neither of these bikes are good for park and I would not really recommend them as your first choice if you're looking for a park bike. Check out some of my reviews on different park bikes and go from there because these are not it. So let me backtrack real quick. You know how I said in the free bike recommendations, the Letum is recommended for people a lot. Um, if I see you put in that your budget is five to 700 and you're a street rider at a mid level, you're gonna get the Sabrosa Letum because it's the most perfect bike for someone who's serious about street riding. Not many of these bikes come along like that. There's not very many options. Um, now the Malum is the equivalent in the dirt section. So this gets out on a lot of bike recommendations for people who wanna ride dirt because it's perfect. It has good dirt tires, it has good dirt gearing, it has good dirt quality, and the geometry is just built around that with a more mellow head tube angle, longer chain stay, taller standover height. Um, and, and so that's really what I look at, guys. I look at the geometry. Again, just like the park, it's weighted in a different way for more mellow geometry. I also look at the tires because if you guys have ridden dirt on bad tires for dirt, you know how much of a disaster that is. And the gearing is something that's also stressed. So the Letum did not get very many points, mostly because of that free coaster. If you guys are trying to get speed between your jumps and uh, you have a free coaster, that slack is a killer. You're gonna have a really hard time doing that. So the cassette on the Malum makes riding dirt a lot easier. This is a very good choice for dirt, and that's why I got a 22, where the Letum only got an eight. Okay, and the quality section is 25 out of 25 for both those bikes. I look at, does it have full chromoly? Does it have double wall rims? Is it got some aftermarket parts? Does it have a warranty? Things like that. Neither of these bikes have a warranty, but they are full chromoly. Bars, forks, frame, they've got double wall rims. They're built to last, um, and I definitely say these are mid-level bikes because of those quality aspects, and they both scored the exact same. Now, the before I get into if which bike I would pick with my $600, let me run through who each bike is for. The Sabrosa Letum for those street riders who want a mid-level bike that is ready to go for street as soon as you hop on it. It's got that hub, or it's got that bash guard on the sprocket, it's got hub guards, it's got pegs. It's a street bike. It's very responsive compared to the Malum, and it's for mid-level riding because of that high quality. It's a very good choice for mid-level riders, but you need to be somewhat serious about the sport if you're gonna drop $530 on the bike. Now, for the Malum, it's going to be for someone who wants to get a mid-level bike and just start riding dirt. There are not many dirt-specific, complete BMX bikes. Usually people will buy a well-rounded bike, throw a bigger front sprocket on there, get some dirt-specific tires and things like that. They'll kind of tweak their geometry to make it perfect for dirt. But the Malum comes perfect for dirt right out of the box. Again, I'd say it's for a mid-level rider because of that quality. And you need to be somewhat serious to spend $540 on the bike. And so that's who they're for. Now, let's say I have my $600. Which of these bikes would I buy? And, and which bike's moving on to the next round? It's gonna be the Letum. You guys can tell because I shifted my body over that way. But regardless of the Dugster Bob score, this is the cheaper bike. And I just love the fact that it comes with those pegs, those hub guards, that bash guard on the sprocket. That does, Those are all things that you would spend hundreds of dollars adding on to your bike. So while it is possible to go with the Malum and upgrade it to that, your cost is gonna look something like $650 to $700 to get it to the same specs as the Letum. Uh, I think this is super important and it's really overlooked a lot. So my money would go on the Letum because it's easier 
to adapt your riding with a little more responsive bike to dirt than to get a bike like this and upgrade the parts to make it suitable uh, for street riding or whatever. So, so yeah, the let em moves on. If you guys type the let em in, congratulations. If you did not, you're a loser. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you did not, try next time. Uh, in the next video, you guys can watch which bike wins in the next part of the bracket. If you guys want to see how this whole bracket went, you can watch the long, long video that has every bike going head to head until we battle out to the winner. It's a long video, but um, it, it's it's got good information. So I'm gonna pop that up at the screen at the end of this video. If you guys are curious about either of these bikes, I do have really in-depth reviews of both of them on my channel. Those will be in the description. And if you guys feel like you're part of the community, come hang out with me on the lives that I do every single week. The only way for you to get notified is to subscribe and hit that bell. YouTube will tell you when I go live. It's once a week, but the time and the day varies. So make sure you do that. Come hang out, ask any question you got about BMX. And yeah, have a great rest of your day.